sometimes you're at Disney Springs and it rains. But you know what? I'm going to stick around. I'm going to show you all the construction that's going on here anyways. And uh, I'll just dry off a little bit later when I get home. Hey, this is John Frost with the Disney Blog here in Disney Springs, standing in front of Wolfgang Puck Cafe, which is uh, unfortunately going to close soon, one of my favorite places here. But the west side is going to get a new, refreshed look and feel to go with the overall theme of Disney Springs, so Wolfgang Puck's had to go. Matter of fact, that's not the only change here in Disney Springs. Let's go on a walkabout and check things out. Hey, one of the newest additions here at Disney Springs is the new glass-enclosed upstairs bar at Splitsville. It, it used to be exterior and open to the elements, but as you can tell in Central Florida, it does rain and get hot and blustery, and so this lets Splitsville open a couple more tables for regular seating. And behind me is the Edison, which is a very anticipated steampunk themed restaurant coming here to Disney Springs brought to you by the Patina Group and next to it will be this airport hangar themed restaurant with a, uh, a little stage and a performance area in there really looking forward to that there will also be an Italian themed eatery mixed in here and of course underneath us the Neverland tunnels so let's check up on the latest progress If you haven't heard, December 31st will be the last show for La Nuba by Cirque du Soleil here in Disney Springs. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm hoping that they're going to bring back something really exciting in its place. My guess is something that will be Disney IP related, maybe a Star Wars Cirque du Soleil show. If they can't make that work, they always have La Torque, which is the James Cameron Avatar inspired show that they could bring in here temporarily while they're setting something up. But if you want to see La Nuba one last time, you do have a great chance to do that between now and the end of the year. Go online, get your tickets. There are Central Florida and annual pass holder discounts. So take advantage of that and then make sure you give a big round of applause for all the acrobats and clowns that have been entertaining us here for so long. So here at Disney Springs, it's already have the walls up and you can see little signs of construction going on back there. Eventually this location will become the NBA experience, which is pretty cool. Um, the rumor is they're going to demolish the Disney Quest to make way for a brand new structure. So we'll keep an eye on that for you and let you know. So right behind me is the future home of Wine Bar George, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, curated wines, you can come in, buy the class, get the bottle. Um, there'll be, of course, snacks, cheese, crackers, the other things to go along with everything you want to have from your local wine bar. So really looking forward to this opening here in the landing area of Disney Springs. Behind me is the former location Portobello, which will be the new home of Terralina, which is a new Italian restaurant concept from the same people that bought you Portobello, um, Chef Tony Montuano, who's a, uh, you may know from television and his great steakhouses in Chicago and Italian restaurants. And I'm really looking forward to this coming back. I love to the food here at Portobello, but it was definitely time for a scenery change to fit in better with the look of Disney Springs. So. They should be reopened by uh, early next year, it sounds like. And tell all your friends the dress shop is back at the Marketplace Co-op. You can come get your favorite retro rad style Disney dresses and accoutrements like purses and mouse ears and all sorts of great stuff here at the marketplace. 